expressive sculptures used to be really hard to do, but with this tool, anyone will do it. What's up guys, I am ZW and today we are spider manning again cause you know, I have seen people made a venomized Tom Holland before but they are either too expensive or not articulated at all. Let me try and do better. This Tia Odor body is affordable, I think it's pretty close to Tom Holland's physique but for some reason, they gave him a dick. Which is going to take a lot of effort to try and censor while I venomize this body so let's just deal with it in the most delicate way possible. Fantastic. It has been a while since I've worked with this black goo. We have used it in our carnage video but this time we are going to cover the entire body. I guess it's like spreading icing on a cake that is shaped like Tom Holland's naked body and instead of cream we have venom. Just like cake decorating, it's probably going to take more than one layer to cover the entire thing. It's also not the hardest part. Great, now I'm hungry. I mean, it's the white spider in the middle that I'm not particularly looking forward to. Ooh, spidey touche! Anyway, we gotta deal with his feet, a couple of hands. I stole some from the knockoff iron spidey. Hopefully he can still move after we cure this. Oh, come on. As for the head, we have this. Yup, amazing moment from the previous Spider-Man video. I have a soft spot for broken people, being one myself, so we gotta try and fix him. Also, I think it fits well with the concept art expression. It's not a very complicated fix, just some clay to fill up the missing jaw, a little smoothing with a sculpting tool. After it hardens from a heat gun which I did not film, real professional, a little enjoyable sanding and it decided to separate itself from the head, so some glue should convince it to accept its fate to be the jaw of Tom Holland. As good as new. But you know me, I hate doing the same thing over and over again. We need to do something different. And boy was I glad to find this. A quick internet search revealed so many Tom Holland 3D models and I got this, beheaded him, threw him into ZBrush and with the help of magic, I can make him smile, make him sad, angry, shocked. Mmm, what's that smell? Oh no. A little context if you don't get how mind-blowing this is. Expressions are one of the hardest things to sculpt. Especially for amateurs like myself who have been struggling to get it right. Whenever I try expressive sculptures, they just gain weight and it took weeks to complete. But now through a lot of hard work, not mine, I didn't do jack shit really, I completed this in a couple of hours. Credits to the people at 3D Scan store, they released a multi-expression base mesh and it contains preset expressions that you can just use for any of your sculpts. Basically, every model has their own topology as seen from these wireframes. Good topologies are needed for modifying the models and for rigging but these STLs made for 3D printing usually have pretty messed up topology because they were probably decimated. Big words that you don't need to understand. I don't even think I understand them. But just know that in order for us to use the expressions, we need to turn this base mesh into Tom Holland and we will be using wrap. By selecting specific points on both head sculpts, the program will essentially, well, wrap the base mesh into the shape of Tom Holland and hence creating a Tom Holland head with good topology. That's it. And that folks is how you steal someone's work, transform it into another model and call it yours. That's why I have trust issues when people ask for my models. Well, since I still haven't decided on the expression I want Tom to have, I'm gonna check on the body with gloves this time because it was so sticky before. All the joints still work, hand works fine, legs work fine. Oh, Mr. Smart, you saw nothing. App crunch is working. After solving a complex mathematical formula to determine the position, I whipped out the white silicone and just went for it. The whole thing is quite hard to work with because it's too viscous. Wait. Not viscous enough? Okay, hold on. High viscosity fluid flows slower, right? Yeah, so it's not just too thick, it's also too sticky. 
so you can't really smooth it out without risking the removal of the previous layer. I think it's not gonna look as good as the concept art. Time to cure again! Okay, I've thought it through, and I feel that Tom should be in pain when being venomized cause he would be fighting it somehow, right? So let's scroll to the pain slider and crank it up, but not too much. Right, I'm going to close his eyes so that it looks more pain than anger. Make him squint a little more. Yeah, that looks excruciating. Make him frown a little. Oh, we can compress the whole face, let's do it. Oh damn, he looks like he's dying. How about making him bite his lip like he's trying hard not to scream? Wow, this tool is cultivating the sadist in me. Okay, puff his cheeks a little, adjust the eyes to make it more natural, and we are done! Tom Holland, in pain. But I feel like there's still room to cause more pain to Tom. So continuing with the theme of borrowing other people's work, I took a Venom model apart and added his lower jaw under Tom's head. What I love about Venom's transformation is the disgusting teeth that slowly engulfed Tom Hardy, and that's what I'm trying to emulate here. And as if that's not enough to sell his suffering, I added the top half to really wrap around his head. That's how versatile a 3D model can be if you know what you are doing. You can literally turn any model into your own, and it's just scary. I don't know how people are okay with selling their models for a few bucks, knowing that anyone can mess with it. It's like putting your own child on sale and letting them do whatever they want? No? Too much? Well, I just don't know how to prevent China from ripping my model off. Eh, it's not racist if I'm Chinese. Let's print. Printing takes about half a day, so we have time to paint regular Tom. As usual, beige for the base, red for the blush, brown for the tent, burnt umber for the shadows, and we can work on his hair. Really simple as well, thinned down brown applied to satisfaction. And the print is ready! I love how Venom is trying to eat up Tom, and how Tom is really just wishing he was dead. But yeah, same exact painting steps for this, and they look pretty good. Some eyebrows for both, and when we paint the eyes for regular Tom, we can use the same paint for Venom Tom's teeth. I was so excited to work on Venom Tom that I quickly painted the eyeballs, but unfortunately, I think I didn't wash it properly cause paint wasn't sticking on some areas. And they are areas that are harder to reach, like the eyes and nearer to some of the Venom portion. That's what happens when you can't wait to see Spider-Man suffer. But that's fine, I'm gonna deal with the Venom portion first, the teeth, the gums, and I ran out of black. Okay, you know what, I figured a way to cover the flaws. Just add some Venom lines to the face and it will blend in since it's black, right? Smart. So here I am, covering the flaws, trying not to go overboard with the lines cause it's really fun honestly. But again, I just kept wanting to do more. So I added some silicone for a little three-dimensional fuse. Carefully, with a toothpick, I applied the goo, glossed up the teeth, the venom portion, applied some saliva, and that's it. Sadly, the body is actually too big for Tom, so it looks weird if he just stands there. So let's pose him instead. Okay, much better. I'm so glad to salvage the broken head. And the new head sculpt I really like, it was so liberating, being able to let the old mind run wild. The silicone works, but it doesn't look appealing, so I failed to do better. Here is a Spider-Man video, or just try something new like this Toy Story custom I just made. Stay tuned and goodbye.